Good afternoon guys, it's November the 8th. It's been a beautiful sunny day today. It's fairly cool. Uh, cooler than uh, I'd like it to be at this point because I've, I'm still feeding the bees. I usually have finished by now. November, first week in November is a little late to feed. But uh, we have had some warmer weather so um, that's, a, that's a blessing in disguise. I'm just going to go through uh, how to winter prep one hive here uh, as my last video entry for the year and um, we're going to wrap one up with uh, a black plastic wrap put the um, uh, mouse guard across the front so the mice can't get into it and uh, just uh, secure the hive down and I'll go through the process with you. So what we need here is a, is a wire mouse guard like this one here can buy from any hardware store and cut it to size. What I do is I fasten it in place with two blocks like this. These not only hold the mouse guard in place but they also reduce the entrance down so that it's not quite so drafty for them in the winter. So I can show you how to do this. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. We shall see. You want to do it fairly carefully because we're not wearing our suits at this point. Because we like to take chances. So, there we have a barrier against the mice getting through. Works fairly well. Also reduces the entrance down so that they uh, don't get as much draft in the front. Now, the next step I would take is to remove the feeder bucket. We've pretty much finished feeding this guy. Put this here. And uh, yeah, you can see fairly well. Um, where's my uh, hive tool? We're going to remove this feeder board. Knock the bees in. Take off the formic acid pad. Remove the formic acid pad rack, which is something that I use, you don't have to. It's a pretty heavy colony. I mean, there's a lot of honey in there. I'm sure they've got enough. So the next step would be the um, top board has a, a groove in the in the one side. One side has no grooves. This is the summer position with no grooves. Winter position is this this side down. So you would put this at the front, the opening at the front, which would allow them to have good air circulation. Now I do tend to screw my tops down. I find it's easier to remove the, um, the plastic jacket over here in the spring if the top's screwed down. It doesn't pull off as you're pulling the jacket off and it doesn't disturb the bees as much so I'm just going to go and get some screws. Okay so we've got a couple of screws here and we're going to screw that lid down. Like so. So now you can see that the entrance 
from the top is open. I do tend to want to put a screw in the front here. This stops the plastic jacket from sliding all the way down and blocking the entrance. You don't want it to block. Slide her down. And I have one more screw here to put in the front, just below the vent. That stops the plastic from blocking the top vent in the winter. Or you get wind and stuff. Also, if you feel the urge and you've got room in between your sides here, as this is an end box, um, I'm going to slide some rigid styrofoam down there to give it a little extra okay, on the side. You can only usually take one sheet. Uh, there is a bit of room at the back. So there we have it. I've slid a piece of rigid styrofoam down the side and another one down the back. And this piece on the top is going to give them extra thermal protection on the roof. And uh, there's a screw in the front here, screw in the bottom, mouse guard. Put the cover on. Might be a little bit of adjustment needed for it to start up. Cut a little sliver off the side. So this is the cover like so. There, we're done. Here we have it. The bees are wrapped and ready for winter. So now what I would do is when they're all done, when we have all four colonies done, I would push them together in a tighter group on the middle of the skids so that they have more thermal protection from each other. They keep each other warm and you walk away and wish them luck. I'd like to take the time to thank you for watching Manny's Bees throughout the 2015 season. We've pretty much gone from opening in the spring to every step and stage along the way to wrapping up in the winter. So I'm not quite finished all my work here yet. I've still got to wrap up probably next week because there's a couple of some of the colonies are still uh, taking feed, which is a good thing. We want them to be taking as much feed down as they can. So. Next weekend we'll finish off and we'll take a shot of everything grouped together and, um, and that'll be the end. Thanks for watching.